first ever visit to a steam railway was the Blue Rail Railway in 1974. The Adams radial tank was in steam then. At that time, we came away with a record from the Blue Bell Railway shop. That record was Johnny Morris on the Blue Bell Railway. Here is that very record today. It has a few clicks, crackles and pops, but still plays. By kind permission from the grandson of the producer, Mr Robert Hardcastle, and the Discourses record label, I am able to show you the record and share some of the sounds from it with you. The record was recorded back in 1970 to mark the 10th anniversary of the Bluebell Railway. That's 49 years ago today. For most of you, Johnny Morris will need no introduction. The very polite, kind person that used to present Animal Magic, where he was known for giving voices to the animals at Bristol Zoo. Animal Magic was a BBC children's television series that ran from 1962 to 1983. Let's have a listen to the first track on the record now. Wouldn't it be nice to hear the whistle of a steam engine, just for a change? To drift back into the past, to the days when those great-hearted animals pulled us around the country, hauled us off to work, and ran shrieking with us to the seaside. It would be nice if it were possible. And by a rare chance, a miracle almost, it is possible. Johnny Morris became Vice President of the Blue Bell Railway. On this record it's possible to hear many of the well-known locomotives of the Blue Bell, but also hear some of those that have been out of service awaiting repairs for some time. These include the Adams Radial, number 488, the Duke Dog, named Earl of Barclay, Fenchurch the Terrier, number 672, Stepney, another Terrier, number 55. So I was thinking it would be a nice tribute to try and represent each locomotive featured on this record in model form. And where I can, I will include clips from my own videos, photos of the real locos featured. I may not have a model of the exact locomotive, but I do have a class member of each locomotive on the record. I hope you will enjoy. Starting with the loco on the front cover of the record sleeve, we have the London and Brighton South Coast E4 class Birch Grove. I have a photo of her from back in the 80s, and a few other more recent ones. Now, representing Birch Grove, here is my model by Backman of an E4 class. That lovely breathing noise in the background comes from the wonderful iron lungs of Fenchurch. And Bill, I believe that Fenchurch is the oldest working engine in England, isn't it, or Britain? It is, yes. It's built in 1972. What sort of engine is Fenchurch, you know? It's a, a six-wheel tank engine, uh, normally 060 type, um, used for light passenger work in the first place, which is really what we're using for now. Does it need a lot of repair? Not really. Um, you look after them, and they, they look after you. Here is my model of Fenchurch number 2636, representing the Bluebells number 72, which was later number 2636. Well, The great Class 4 engine pounding the Bluebell beat, pumping its great pistons. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now the standard class 4 tender engine has been out of service for some time, however I found one photo of 75027. Representing her is my venerable mainline 75001. This was purchased after seeing 75027 in action on the Bluebell. Well now, apart from that, we've got the other dear Victorian looking little engine just on the other side of the track there, because it's got that simple little word on the side that means so much, Bluebell. Bluebell. And what are they like as uh, characters, Bill? They've got a tremendous character, the P-Class. When we had them, we had two together, Bluebell and 27. Bluebell is an absolute dream for making steam, whereas 27 would not steam at all. Now I can show you a model of the exact locomotive found on the Bluebell Railway. Here is my Hatton's Bluebell P-Class. And now we're moving slowly, but very sedately, out of Sheffield Park Station. Uh, we're travelling backwards, at least Bluebell's pulling backwards. And we're just crossing now, outside Sheffield Park Station, we're crossing the Greenwich Meridian. Believe it or not, it runs right across the Bluebell line. The Greenwich Meridian. Representing the other P-Class on the Bluebell, here is 1557. Representing Bluebell's number 27, this was a model built by my dad. Now the elegant Adams radial. Here are some photographs of her recently. Again I am pleased to have a model of this exact locomotive. So here is number 488 in as preserved condition. This is a very big engine here. What is it? This is a Duke Dog. Uh, a 440 what do you West call engine. it? A Duke Dog. Yeah. Um, it was a rebuilt engine from two older engines, a Duke and a Bulldog. Yeah. And they put these two together and made the Duke Dog. They were pretty fast, weren't they? Yes, quite fast and quite light. A 
only recently arrived with me is the Duke Dog number 9003, representing the Bluebells 3217 Earl of Barclay. We end up with another terrier, this time number 55, Stepney, as found on the Bluebell. Well, there she goes, back to Sheffield Park. And so the little steam trains still tramp the single track to Horsted Kings and back. The brambles press their prickles through the faded wooden fence, and thousands come to see the precious past that was so nearly thrown away.